Reverse Optic Capture of a Toric IOL. This is part two of a three-part series of misadventures that ultimately resulted in a good outcome, but took a long time to get there. Steve Dewey, Colorado Springs Eye Clinic, Colorado Springs, Colorado. An exceptionally convenient feature of the eye trace is identifying how far off you are and how much you would improve the situation to rotate the lens back into position. And in this case, by rotating the lens 69 degrees, we're going to improve the toric correction by 7.69 diopters. Probably worth rotating the lens. So here the lens is, and I've, I've beautifully marked the cardinal meridians, but I noticed right there at the tip of my Lester, there's an interstromal mark. Now, I thought those were supposed to fade, and so I was fairly surprised, pleasantly so, to see that toric alignment mark because I had confirmed that that was the position I wanted in the office at this little lamp. And here I am using BSS on a 5cc syringe, basically inflating the anterior segment as I go, manipulating the lens back and forth. Now, there really isn't much fibrosis to the capsule. There really isn't much regenerated material. It really is kind of coming pretty free and pretty easy and pretty loose, so it really wasn't too surprising that it had rotated. Now, we are only three weeks out from the surgery, and so, again, in hindsight, I might have waited a little longer, but there were some social pressures uh, to get this going. Um, and here we see a really nice alignment, a little bit of parallax error, uh, you see, but the alignment with the corneal marks versus the toric alignment marks were absolutely fantastic. So I'm, I'm really very meticulous with these. I do an awful lot of irrigation back and forth. I want to make sure I've got that lens free within the capsule, but I really don't want to clean the capsule uh, too significantly at all. Really, I want to do is, is basically place the lens exactly where it's supposed to go, leave it, and then let the normal healing forces take place. And so again, had I known that I was going to be uh, demonstrating this technique, I probably would have attained images with a little less parallax error. Uh, but in this case, we're, we're using the toric alignment ring to mark, match it up with the marks I had made at the slit lamp in the uh, preoperative area. And I found the alignment was absolutely fantastic. I was delighted. I was fairly certain we were very much done with this case. But, of course, there wouldn't be a part three to this story, given that this is part two, if I was completely done.